Two good Samaritans were able to call for help and stay with the woman and dog until they were rescued. Now, this is the second incident in just a few days of victims falling into icy waters. Cakes Monica Castro talked to firefighters about their special gear to make these icy rescues. Wichita Fire Department actually did some ice water rescue training in January. Station 4 has special suits and gear to help them safely rescue people or pets who fall through thin ice. Female in the middle of the pond at Harrison Park, 1300 South Web. It's the second case of someone falling through ice in a matter of days. But when Station 4 gets these types of calls. Initial arriving crews will start getting us information whether the person is above the water holding on to something or has gone below the water. And that'll kind of clue us in on what gear to get in. Firefighters at Station 4 have special gear they use for these types of efforts. At Station 4, we carry the special suits that'll keep us dry and keep us buoyant. Or if we need to dive, we have dry suits that we won't get wet at all. And we have thermal underwear that we basically wear underneath them to keep us warm. In today's rescue case, no divers were needed. I'm trying to make a physical rescue. Again, need a rope 24 foot and a 14 foot ladder. Responding fire crews were able to get the woman out by throwing out rope to her. Firefighters say people should avoid stepping out on icy ponds at all costs. I know people love their animals, and but it's not worth risking your own life. We'll get there quick. We'll get something going. Firefighters tell me if you encounter someone who has fallen through ice, do not go after them. Instead, try to give them something to grab onto, like a rope or a branch. Now, if you fall through thin ice, firefighters recommend trying to latch onto something like a branch. They say if you manage to get out, out of the ice, try to distribute your weight evenly onto the ice so that you don't crack it. Susan?